What's up everybody, Lauren Artek here today, and it is release day, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, we've got a case of some Fate Reforged. Open it, one already, uh, nothing uneventful, eventful, so we will get right to the hot of all the good stuff. I'm hoping everybody's been enjoying this so far. With no random order. We'll just start to add packs and start opening them up. We're gonna do a whole case, didn't get a lot of interest in it, so as my dogs fight behind me, we will crack some packs. We're gonna go right to the rares. Let's see what we get. Chunga Hollow. And our first packs of Mythic, Torn Elemental. It's the blue, blue mythic. It's uh, four, col uh, four colors, one blue. Creature flying elemental. Flyer, when a torn elemental attacks, tap all creatures defending player controls. Three colorless hybrid, black green. Put torn elemental from exile onto the battlefield tapped. Activate this ability anytime you can cast a sorcery. One dog. Alright. Pack number two. On and on we go. Hello everybody. Cracking some packs here. Pardon me. Recording at the same time, so. Alright. Next pack. Is a somewhat gar drifting death pack two. Right, you know what? We're just going to keep moving here. All right, two packs down, whole bunch more to go. Do this between my webcam and everything. We'll give you guys the luxury of the, the rare of this pack. And our rare is <coughs> dog barking. Out you go. Get out. Alright. Now that that's done. Uh, we got Alesha, who smiles at death. Two colorless, one red. Legendary creature, human warrior, first striker. Whenever she attacks, pay a hybrid white black. If you do, turn dark creature with power two less from your graveyard onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. Woohoo! So, all right. Pardon me, this is gonna be a little hard because I'm uh, bouncing around between my webcam and this. So, we're just gonna cancel the Twitch for now. So we're just gonna stop this. All right. All right, pack three. You know, monk token, land, and we already got a second mythic, Warden of the First Tree, one green. Uh, creature 1-1 one, one human warden. Oh, warden, right. Warden of First Tree becomes a human warrior, base power, toughness of 3-3. Three, three. If Warden of First Tree is a warrior, it becomes a human spirit warrior. Three colorless, three hybrid. Born a tree is a spirit. Put five one one counters on him, and you can repeat the process over and over and over. So he can become big and quite obnoxious very quickly. So, just saying. All right, we have a card. Whoops, we got a tranquil co, and we got a palace siege. Palace siege is. Three colors, two black, enchantment. As Palace Siege enters the battlefield, choose columns or dragons. If you choose columns, at the beginning of your upkeep. Return to a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. If you choose dragons, at the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. I think of that I'll definitely probably see some play in standard. Let's, we're going to have to really keep tightening this because I have my other boxes and stuff on here, so we'll put all the lands 
that aren't fetch lands over here. All right, next pack. Back, back. All right, what do we got? Let's see, right to the back we go, and tip card, no fetch land, and our rare. The Monastery Siege, two colorless, one blue, enchantment. The Monastery Siege enters the battlefield. Choose cons or dragons. If you choose cons, at the beginning of your draw step, you draw an additional card. Then discard a card. If you choose dragons, spells your opponent's cast that target you or a permanent control uh, cost two more to cast. May see some play in some kind of control variant. Very possible. We'll see. All right, moving along. Let's see, we have a tip card, and we got a foil, and we got a foil bathing dragon, jizzies. Alright, and we got a Najuna Soul of Winter. It's the white-blue dragon, five colorless, white-blue. Flying Vigilance, legendary creature, dragon. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, tap target non-land permanent and opponent controls. That permanent does not untap during its controller's next untap step. I don't think it'll see play because it's got a 7 mana cost. Maybe as a 1 of. Maybe not. I'm not really sure. Alright. So, got a spirit token. And our rare is a mob roll. Mob roll is uh, not playable on standard, but it is hilarious to be playing it in a, a limited, uh, sealed. 4 colorless, 2 red. Choose one. Gain control of all creatures with power of four or greater to end a turn. Untap those creatures. They gain haste to end of turn. Gain control of all creatures with power three or less till end of turn. Untap those creatures. They gain haste until end of turn. So that card has gotten me, actually. So um, I'm going to just kind of see what I'm looking at here. That card has gotten me. Gotten me good, actually. We're going to lower this camera down a bit here. We're going to fix the tripod a little bit here, so just mind this disturbance. Okay. So, so I'd like to see what's going on. Okay. Back to the pack crack. All right. Just make sure this looks good. Okay. On and on we go. All right. We have a manifest token, and we got a blossoming sands and a rare. It's a Flame Rush Rider. Again, another card I'm not sure about. Going to see any standard play. Uh, possibly four colorless, one red to creature to human warrior. Whenever it attacks, put a token onto the battlefield. Tap an attacking. That's a copy of another attacking creature. Exile the token at the end of combat. The only thing that makes this viable is it does have dash for double red and two colorless. So it could be viable. It could not be viable. It's going to be hard to say what's... What standard is going to set you? So, alright. Moving along. We have a, another manifest token. Sweetwater Cliffs. And a rare is Rally Ancestors. I don't really want to read this card because it's not really good. I don't think, anyway. I don't want you to become a $10 rare. I'm not going to read it. We're going to move along because I have a lot to get open. Alright. So, we have a Spirit Token, we have a Dismal Backwaters, and a Rare, alright, Ugin, the Spirit Dragon, 8 colorless, and he's a Planeswalker, plus 2, um, <coughs> he deals 3 damage to target creature or player, minus X, exile each permanent with converted mana cost, exile each permanent with converted mana cost, X, or, that's one or more colors. Minus 10, you gain 7 life, draw 7 cards, then put up to 7 permanent cards from your hand onto the battlefield. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Do, do, do. Alright. Okay. So, we got almost our money back just to one pack of lemon. It's 3 Mythic Generate. Better than my first box. See, see, that mtgheadquarters.com playmat brings the sauce. We got a spear token and a blossoming sand and a Datagar the Adamant. Datagar the Adamant, whoops, let's not mix my comments and all comments in here. 
Category the Adamant is a legendary creature, human warrior, three colorless, one white. <clears throat> He's got vigilance. Datagardi Adamant enters the battlefield with four 1 1 counters on it. One colorless hybrid green black. Move a 1 1 counter from target creature onto a second target creature. So, I don't know if you did that instant speed like kill Arc Battle Ravenger. I'd have to look at it. So, alright. On to the next pack. Pumping for that foil mythic. Got a manifest token. Bloodfell Caves, and our rare is a Soul Flare. I have a lot of these already. Soul Flare, four colorless, two black, double black. Creature Demon, you can delve for him. Uh, if a creature card was exiled with Soul Flare's delve ability, Soul Flare has flying. Same goes for First Strike, Double Strike, Death Touch, Haste, Hexproof, Indestructible, Life Link, Reach, Crample, and Vigilance. So basically, you can just make him, like, not removable and, you know, just bash him in the face. Chromanticore, anybody? Yeah, I picked a bunch of Chromanticores today. The same. Right, we got another Manifest Token. Dismal Backwater. And our rare is a Crucible of the Spirit Dragon. It's a uh, land. Tap it. Add one color to your mana pool. Tap it. Put a storage counter on it. Tap it. Remove X storage counters from it. And add X mana and a combination of colors to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast dragon spells or activate abilities of dragons. So I'm guessing this is a way, um, almost like a, um, not an Aether Vial, but, um, more like a Caves. Not a Caves, yeah. Uh, Cavern of Souls, that's it. And I came back right after, right after that set, so. Alright. What do we got here? We got another Manifest token. We got a Rugged Highlands. And our rare. Sand Steep Mastodon. All right, we've seen this card. He was spoiled. We know what he does. We're him off anyway, because uh, he is part of the infinite combo. Uh, Sand Steep Mastodon, five colorless, double red. Uh, double red, white, double green. He's a five-five reacher. When he enters the battlefield, bolster five. Choose a creature that, with the least toughness among creatures, put one-one counters on it. So basically, play this with Sage of Hours and take infinite turns and just kind of laugh. That and Warming Primer Dock, Bouncing Four. Breaking Stuff 101. All right. We got a Spirit Token. Got a Thornwood Falls. And our rare is a Flame Wake Phoenix. Flame Wake Phoenix is going to see play in Standard. Like it or not, he will, he will be seen. Anyway, with that being said, he's almost like a Chandra's Phoenix. He's double red, one colorless. <clears throat> he's Flying Haster. He attacked each turn of Able. Frost Trigger. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you... If you control a creature with power 4 greater, you may pay 1 red. If you do, return it from your graveyard to the battlefield. So, Chandra's Phoenix was the same thing. And, um... Yeah. She just... If you cast an instant or sorcery, she came back. So. This one, she got to so. Alright, let's see. We got a manifest token. I see a foil blood fail caves. Got a foil man, that's pretty. Put that aside. And the rare is a scroll of the masters. Two colorless artifact. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, put a lore counter on it. Three and tab it. Target creature control gets one one to end a turn for each lore counter on scroll of the masters. I don't think that's going to see any play, but you never know. Not sure. We do not know what the pros have come up with yet, so until we do, we don't know. Alright. Let's pack in. We got... Oh, I see a foil. Got a... Bloodfell... Whoa! Whoops! <laughs> Whoopsie! Fetch land, Bloodstain Mire. Got a foil wandering champion. That looks really nice. They did a really nice job with the foils. And our rare is a Pazgoder Golden Fang. Five colorless, one cre a black. Um, legendary creature, Human Shaman. You can delve for it. Pretty, pretty cool. You can basically play him for one black. Two colorless, hybrid green, blue. Put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Then return an online card of your opponent's choice from your graveyard to your hand. Basically, you just delve out and leave all powerful crap in your hand and just kind of... 
Same thing. Alright. Got a tip card. Triangle Cove. Alright, we got a Citadel Siege. Two colorless, double white. A Citadel Siege into the battlefield. Choose Cons or Dragons. If you choose Cons, at the beginning of combat of your turn, put two 1 1 counters on target creature you control. If you choose Dragons, at the beginning of combat on each opponent's turn, tap the creature or an opponent controls. Okay. Got a monk token, scoured barons, and a brutal horde chief. Yay! One of my favorite cards. Three colorless, one black orc warrior. Whenever a creature control attacks, defending player loses one life and you gain a life. I like that. Three colorless, uh, white, red, white or red. Creature your opponent's control block this turn if able, and you choose how those creatures block. It's basically just choose something that you want to die or death such creature and they can all block it. Double, double block it, and they all die. Alright, we got that. We got a tranquil curve, and we got a foil great horn. Alright, and we got a Yosova Dragon Claw. This creature was spoiled, so I'm not going to read much about her. So we will move along because we have cooler cards to open. Then do the same. All right, we got that. We got a rugged Highlands. Making a mess in here, and we got a Sage Eyes Avengers. Four colorless, two double blue, prowess, digging monk, four five. Whenever it attacks you, you turn target creature to its owner's hand if its power is less than Siege Eyes Avengers power. Six drop, not gonna be seeing much standard play, folks. Alright. I see a foil. Jungle Hollow and a foil Jeskai Sage and a rare. Dragon Scale General, this is what's in the promo intro pack for white. It's three colors, one white. Human Warrior, at the beginning of Grand Step, both their X, where X is the number of top creatures you control for 2 3. Not sure about that card, so we'll have to see. And we're going to move along here. Right, got one last row, we well, stuff to read off here. Alright. Tip card. Oh, nice. Polluted Delta. Double fetch in a box. I'll take it. And now the Crucible of a Spirit Dragon. So. Alright, well, two fetches in this box so far. And and an Ugin. Not bad at all. This is a pretty good box. I can open pack. So this is a special pack. Oh, did I see the foil ray yet? I didn't see the foil ray. I'm not sure. Alright. A spirit token, Darnwood Falls, and a rare. It's a Crux of Fate. Crux of Fate is a good card. Crux of Fate is three colorless, double black, sorcery. Black or white, basically. Um, destroy all of dragons, destroy all non dragons. Okay, perfect. Make black OP, give him a board white. I like playing black, so I'll be playing it. We have a tip card, a Windscript Crag, we got a Foil Rugged Highlands, and our rare is an Arcbound. Arcbound's an instant, two colorless, one red. Choose target creature. Whenever that creature is dealt damage this turn, it deals that much damage to each other creature and player. Okay then. Some kind of deflecting pot combo. Or some kind of deflection. Tip card. Blossoming Sands, and an Arch, uh, Arch Fiend of Depravity. Depravity. Three colors, double black. It's a flyer, it's a 5 4. At the beginning of each opponent's end step, that player chooses, of opponent's end step, that player chooses up to two creatures. He or she controls and then sacks the rest. Boy, does that suck. That hits the board. Almost a new Desecration Demon. It was, if it was formatting, it would see play. Five mana, not sure. All right. 
We got a tip card. We got a scouring thing. And we got a foil monastery siege. Oh, double rare. Monastery siege. I think we read this one. Yeah, we did. And we got a mastery of the unseen. Double rare pack. Wasn't the one I was looking for. So there was our foil rare. And we're just going to keep moving along here. Making a mess. Making a mess. Alright, we got a dismal backwater. We got a shamanic revelation. That is the promo buy a box promo. We're not even going to read it because we have seen this before. So we're going to move along. I'm going to keep moving here, folks. We got lots open. Warrior token, that's worth something. Blossoming Sands and a Colgarin. Colgan. The Storm's Fury. Rakdos colors. Three colors. Black red. Flying whenever a dragon you control attacks. Creatures you control get wilds at end of turn. It's a four or five and it has dash or five. It may see play, it may not. I am not sure. I don't think it'll see anything on play or anything like that, real bad. It's too, too high of a mana cost. So, all right, let's see. Token, Swiftwater Cliffs, Frontier Siege. This is the green one. Three colorless, one green. As Frontier Siege enters the battlefield, choose one, cons or dragons. If you choose cons at the beginning of each opponent's main phase, add two green to your mana pool. If you choose dragons, whenever a creature you control flying enters the battlefield under your control, you may have it fight another tar target creature you don't control. That sucks. All right. Another warrior token. We got a windswept Craig, and we oh, <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful foil warden of the first tree. Oh man. And a Marty Strike Leader. All right. That was that was saucy. Saucy and Ugin and that. Oh, beautiful. I like this box already. Alright. So, we got a spirit token, a jungle hollow, and a. another one, dragon. I'm just happy. A foil mythic rare. Alright. I don't know how the sound's gonna come out because I'm in my room and my bedroom has vaulted ceilings, so. If it does, we're going to figure something out. All right. We got a Shuzu. The Silent Tempest. A legendary creature, Monk. Prowers. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may pay double red or double white or combo. If you do, target creature you control gains double strike till end of turn. My phone's pinging and pung at me. Okay. <whistles> Manifest token, a rugged highlands, and the red green dragon. A Takara world render. Legendary creature dragon, 6 4 flying and trample. One of our dragon control attacks against double strikes at end of turn. Okay then. Last pack. I'm gonna have to say I'm pretty satisfied with this pack. A uh, box pack, right? Got a Thronewood Falls and our last rare is a Timor War Shaman. He's four colorless, double green. Whenever he enters the battlefield, manifest top card of your library. And whenever a permanent you control is turned face up, if it's a creature, you may have it fight another target creature you don't control. So man unmanifest a dragon, then make an attack and do a bunch of hilariousness stuff so all right so let's go over what we got here we got a team of war shaman we got a takara world render we got a Shu young the silent tempest we got a selmagar drifting death we got a mardu shrike leader we got a foil warden of the first tree 
Frontier Siege, Polgarian, The Storm's Fury, Shamanic Revelation, Mastery of the Unseen, Foil Monastery Siege, Archfiend of the Privity, An Arcbound, Crux of Fate, Crucible of the Spirit Dragon, A Polluted Delta, Dragon Scale General, Siege Eyes Avengers, Yesova, Dragon Claw, A Brutal Horde Chief, Citadel Siege, Tazgator Golden Fang, A Foil Wandering Champion, A Bloodstained Mire, A Scroll of the Masters, Flame Weak Phoenix, Sandsteep Mastodon, Another Crucible of the Spirit Dragon, Soul Flare, Data Guardi Adamant, Ugin, Rality Ancestors, Flame Rush Rider, Mobrel, Ojuni Soul Winter, Monastery Siege, Palace Siege, Warden of the First Tree, Alesha who smiles at death, and a Cinema Guard of Drifting Death, and a Torn Elemental. Alright folks, that is the second box out of the case. Um, I'm going to end the film here. I'm going to edit it later. And please like and subscribe. And there will be more coming on later. Alright, talk to you guys later.